One of our main concerns um, originally was the fact that our infrastructure was crumbling beneath us. We had problems with, with flooding on a regular basis. We had 54% of our water unaccounted for. Broken sidewalks, broken streets. What's underground is really what was important and what we needed to address. We actually started out with our sustainability plan. It was back in 2008. From there that led to some, we got some federal grants and we did some asset management planning. With that we were able to hire consultant engineers. We were able to get some of the GIS stuff done so we had all these plans. From that we made a capital renewal plan and that's what we were following. We said, okay, we're ripping up the road. Are we doing it and putting it back exactly the same way or are we changing things? So that led into some of the community groups and some of their planning. Through the work that we've done with our, our agriculture society, was we decided instead of everybody working in their own separate entities, why don't we create one umbrella structure? It became a visionary exercise that we said, just because we're from a small community, why can't we complete this? The Historical Society had just completed an inventory of the downtown, which then led to how are we going to do the buildings? And we started an economic development committee fund for the outside renewal of the businesses downtown. Uh, we were allowed to use funding through the Alberta government and the federal government. We were able to use funding from the Green Municipal Fund, um, which helped us address our brownfield redevelopment site. We got the Green Municipal Funds to do the assessment on it, and then we sort of knew how much it was going to cost, and Council made a hard decision that we were going to clean it up. There will either be businesses on it, or we have a, a vision for um, our Marwain Market, so it would be a social gathering spot for our downtown people. Uh, we were able to reduce our, our asphalt um, by 33%. Everything that we planted, um, we ensure that that was to help out with our water flow. We were able to reduce our water loss by 93% this year. We created a walkable community and it says here we are open for business in the future.